Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. As always, I'm just so thankful that you're taking the time to study the Word of God. You know, it's not so much what I have to say or my words, but it's the Word of God that truly changes our lives. And the fact that He wants to be involved with us in this is just, well, it just blows our mind that this God of the universe that created us, gave us breath, also gave us His Word. And what a blessing it is. We always love to go to Him and acknowledge Him and bless Him before we begin our study. So, if you will, pray with me today. Heavenly Father, we do just bless you. We thank you. We show you gratitude today for your provision of not only life and breath, but of your word that we may, uh, and the ability to receive your word that we may get to know you. And Lord, it's, it's with great joy that we come to this time of studying your word again today. We ask you, as always, by your Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth. And as you promised, to empower us to live according to that truth. Lord, our, our goal is to be pleasing in your eyes, and I pray today that this just blesses you as we study your word, and we thank you for blessing us, and we thank you for all these things in Jesus' name, amen. The title to today's lesson is, The Hour He Began to Amend. It's taken from the book of John chapter 4 and verse 52. John the Apostle wrote how Jesus came again into Cana of Galilee, where he made the water wine, and there was a certain nobleman whose son was sick at Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus was come out of Judea into Galilee, he went unto him and besought him that he would come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. Then said Jesus unto him, Except you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The nobleman said unto him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said unto him, Go your way, your son lives. And the man believed the word that Jesus had spoken unto him, and he went his way. And as he was now going down, his servants met him and told him, saying, Your son lives. And in chapter 4 and verse 52 of his book, John shared how the nobleman inquired of them the hour when he began to amend, where we read, Then inquired he of them the hour when he began to amend. And they said unto him, Yesterday, at the seventh hour, the fever left him. The verse reads, Then inquired he of them the hour when he began to amend. John began with the words, Then inquired he of them, or at that time the nobleman asked his servants the hour when he began to amend, which means the specific time in which the nobleman's son started and initiated being better. John shared how the nobleman asked his servants about the specific time when his son began to be better. The verse goes on to say, and they said unto him, Yesterday, at the seventh hour, the fever left him. John added the words, And they said unto him, which means, And the nobleman's servants uttered, declared, and proclaimed to the nobleman, Yesterday, at the seventh hour, or the previous day at one o'clock, which was the seventh hour of the day, the fever left him, which means the inflammation and fiery heat departed and separated from the nobleman's son. John shared how the nobleman's servants told him the inflammation within his son departed at one o'clock on the previous day. When we meditate upon John's words in this verse, we learn how the nobleman desired to know the specific time when his son began to be better. His servants told him it was the seventh hour or one o'clock in the afternoon on the previous day. We shall see how this was exactly the time Jesus told the nobleman his son lives. And because he is the creator of the universe and the omnipotent God, he's able to alter any physical condition he desires. God loves people. And he wants to have a personal relationship with every one of them through his son Jesus. Let all who read and hear these words believe like the nobleman and submit themselves to Jesus who is able to meet their every need. Next time, John shares how the nobleman, the father, knew that it was the same hour Jesus said, your son lives. So read ahead, and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name. 